Logan Kane here, and this is episode 3 of Shadowgate. Well, since last time we kind of left without knowing exactly what to do, I figured I'd go around and figure it out. Well, turns out I figured it out pretty quickly. That new spell we got? Cast it on this hatch right here, and it opened up, so that's where we'll be going next. You focus your will on the stone hatch, whispering the words of the spell. A strange power flows out of you, enveloping the stone hatch. After a moment, the stone lid opens. And I'm beginning to think the names. Like, this one's a gap, so it's in, it opens things. Invoking, it invokes something. Interre, I don't know what that one's gonna do. Heck, I may have already missed what it's supposed to do. Oh, yay, that's what I like to see. You lean in close, anxious to look inside the open hatch. The stone compartment harbors strange mechanisms, one comprised of levers, rods, and gears. Well, I think we're missing some gears. A series of gears, rods, and other mysterious metallic mechanisms from the inner workings of this device. Well, what if I... That doesn't do anything. What's this little thing? Dwarven craftsman stamp. Okay. Pull the lever down. Pull the lever down. I guess we're just gonna... How about getting Horik some gold? Okay. Alright, I've already lost track. Alright, both down. Middle one up. Oh, there's three... Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. Like my Maple Story did. You know what? I'm gonna check out the gears first. They have these old gears. It seems like they could be used here. You put the gear into the slot. All right. Can't take it back out. The gear appears loosely connected to the rest of the mechanism. And I still have more gears. I don't know if I need them later or if I can use them over here somewhere. All right. Hit this. Drop this one. Hit this. Drop a two. Alright, put it back up. Drop this one down one. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is... Just trial and error right at this point. Now, that doesn't mean... There wasn't previously information somewhere that told me how to do this. I mean, it's, it's entirely possible I've just... Wait, what's this? The stone button is in intricately chiseled. There's a button? There's a button? Uh, well, I may as well finish this up. Alright, let's hit the button. Punching the button produces an ear-splitting screech of protest as the gears try to spin. After that, the silence is almost deafening. Okay. That didn't sound right. You might want to try again. Oh, lordy. I was supposed to do it that way this whole time. You can hear sound of rushing water deep in the castle. Okay. What about this one? Rushing water. Hmm. Well, that sounded encouraging, eh, boy? Should probably go see what that just did. All right. I'm getting boring anyway. Can I go over here? No. The idea of water rushing somewhere makes me want to go check out everything again. I'm going to start with going over here as soon as I find it. There it is. And stuff falling still. Was it this way that the waterfall was? So this all looks the same. Yep, that's the one I was looking for. Shall we? Is that a carcass? 
Small makes a great hideaway, concealed as it is by the waterfall. What is this? This corpse is dressed in what was once a regal set of robes. Blood stains the collar, perhaps providing a clue to what killed this unfortunate soul. Alright, found a scroll. What's in the scroll? Is it going to help me get that other glyph? Yes, I get it. I do I really need to... Come on. I really need to click down here so I can click over here. Read the hastily scrawled words on the scroll. Brother, if you are reading this, then I am no more. I fear we have underestimated his ambition and the depths he would travel in the dark arts. Protect the seals at all cost. He must not get them. Power up the ways and follow the mirrored path to the lone keep. Add your strength to Unthalam's. If nothing else, perhaps our weather master can blunt the evil one's advance. Especially with your support. Farewell thee, Fendril the High. Alright, Fendril, Drill, or whatever it was mentioned not too long ago. What about this? Palm sized stone. Fossilized pet fossilized pattern on one side, okay. What about this one? May as well take stones. I never know when stones are gonna be useful. The rune gl glows with power. It is firmly attached to the wall. Truly this must have been long blah blah blah. Is this gonna say the same thing? Yes it is. And if I do this Nothing. And if I do this Nothing. Alright, well, it would appear that that would be everything. What does Yorick have to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like that's it for the cave. <laughs> Decide it's better not to disturb the remains any further. See, we got the... Dwarven Glyph. Hmm. Now, I believe last time we picked up a mask. I think I'm going to go ahead and equip the mask. You slip the costume over your head. The thing smells terrible and makes it difficult to see. Now I can see just fine. Right, that'll go back all the way over to the other area. To the mirrors, to the mirrors. Did I really gain anything there? Did I try the third spell on him? I can't remember. I guess so. Maybe I can throw a stone at him. Nope. I don't even know why I want to capture the bastard. And then in here is the dragon. I don't think I want to be in here. Well, maybe maybe it got flooded or something. I don't know. I figured it was worth checking out. But if something flooded, that makes me think, well, something flooded. Let's go in here. Hmm. I mean, if the water's not coming out of the mouth of the damn thing, it's coming out of somewhere. It's gotta be coming out of somewhere. Oh, right, there's this one. I haven't used this spell on it yet. Yeah, I didn't think it would do anything. 
Well, this brings us back here. I don't think either one of these are going to open. Well, maybe it flooded in here. No, nothing really. What's Yorick have to say? The same crap. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do invoking on this thing again. Why not? Let's see what happens. The ghostly figure of Lechmir the Timeless emerges. His piercing eyes look at you. Carry on. You must face the perils of the castle and complete your quest. But what is my quest? Nobody's telling me anything. Other than, hey, go into the castle and see what's going on. Well, I guess I'm supposed to stop the evil wizard dude, but... I, I really don't know what to do, so we might call it an episode just so I can spend time looking around to figure out what the hell they want me to do. Wait, I just had an idea. Where's those glyphs? Can I use the glyph? No. Thought maybe I could use the glyph on myself. Hmm. Go back to the hatch, I guess? I realize that the hatch won't close. I don't want to close the hatch. Well, let's try hitting this one. Nothing. Whoops. Faraway screech signals something attempting to move and failing. Hmm. Well, I don't think I can do anything with that. Faraway screech again. Well, let's try them both down. do anything with this one yet, can I? Damn it. There's the falling thing. Oh, what about this one down? And again. Ah, something moved and fell. It might, this might only be for the waterfall, and I'm just completely wasting time. Yeah, I've already done this. Have I tried this? And yeah, this is the only one that's done anything. Huh. Well, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll be back when I figure something out. And I'm back. It looks like I needed to use the hammer to finish off this partially broken mirror, because, you know, God forbid I just kick it. You rear back and strike the mirror with the hammer. The glass falls away from the frame, revealing a door behind it. And we're going to go through that door, but before we do that, I just want to show you something else that I tried to do. If I use this on any other... Damn it. If I try to use this on any of the other hammers, it bounces off. So, you swing your weapon at the mirror, but it bangs harmlessly off the surface, sending a shock up your arm. Perhaps it's enchanted. So yeah, I'm guessing those are magic doorways. I run my... Why am I running my fingers across broken glass? 
The broken shards of the mirror catch the torchlight, sending a colorful prism about the room. A door waits behind the facade. Well, I want to open the door. Well, double clicking seemed to do something. You pull on the door with all your might, the locked door just rattles in its frame. Well, let's start casting spells on it. Well, I don't know. And there's no reason not to try everything. I really thought this was going to be a continuance. Well, I guess I'll be back again. Well, I've discovered one thing. I discovered that I can use the elementals that are trapped in the orb. And I was able to cast one of the element, the water elemental that I had on one of these fires. And then he just kind of goes back to where I caught him in the first place. Well, that was weird. When I first entered the area, it's like a figure appears. And I actually saw a guy appear. And now he's gone. But anyway, I'm going to try putting out this other fire to see what happens. And this was... Alright, I guess nothing happens? Sure. But I'm going to go back and try and point out that guy to see if we can see him. You force your way through. Ah, there he is, see? Figure showed up right there. Up, oh, he shot an arrow at me or something. Yep, of an arrow. Twang of an arrow. With a shout, you raise the shield just in the nick of time. The arrow shatters against your arm armament. Well, I have another theory now. Maybe I can only have one elemental in the orb at a time. And if that's the case... That is the case. Taking the silver orb? Yeah, we got the power of ice. I want to go freeze that lake with that skeleton. Let's try it. There we go. As you release the ice elemental, you fumble with the silver orb, dropping it into the lake. Immediately, the still water freezes into a solid sheet of ice. Excellent work. Well, what if I want my orb back? You can see the outline of your magical orb frozen just below the surface. Perhaps a touch of some flame will release the imprisoned object. Okay. But before that, I want to walk on over here. Oh, look at this guy. He had a bandana on. wonder if this is from the Chinese Revolutionaries Yellow Turban Rebellion. You got the yellow turban. Ooh, a key. Make your way across the slippery ice toward the chain skeleton. Remains of some unfortunate soul are... Blah, blah, blah. Let us take that key. Is that all we got over here? What do you think, Yorick? Is that all we got over here? Yep. That's what you think. Yeah, that's it. That is it. What about over here? I'm going to use the waterfall on the skeleton. <laughs> Get closer to the skeleton. Do that. Alright. Well... I guess I'll try and get my orb back. Wait, what? The heat from the lit torch melts the ice around the silver orb, freeing it. The ancient artifact rises to the surface of the frozen lake. Let's grab my artifact. Oh, so it stays frozen. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's grab the water guy. I want to keep the water. What am I doing? I need to press my orb button. Orb button. Oh my lord. Oh, that's right. I lost the orb, so my orb button came undone. Now it's back to four where it belongs, so I can just capture these souls willy-nilly. 
I don't think I'll need the ice again, because I used them for something. Though I do have an idea I want to try with the water guy. What if I try and put out one of these candles? That was weird. You've just avoided a deadly trap. Well, I'm going to try it again anyway. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to go over here. Trial and Error has got to be the least exciting variant of Let's Plays. And that's what I'm doing right now. Which is probably horribly boring. But hopefully you get something out of it. And you can always skip through this. If you're watching through all of this, well... I guess you want to, so whatever. Let's try and put out the other one. As the water elemental is released, it misses the candle entirely. However, the spray of mist comes in contact with the da 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 blah 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 blah. All right. Let's try and get this orb as quickly as possible. Because we're going back up to the other place. The mirror room. There we go. Which is easy enough to get to. You can go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked door is locked. All right. Let's use this. You unlock the door and throw it away, and I save the game. And that's going to be it for episode two. I'm, I'm sorry, episode three. I keep wanting to say Paper Sorcerer still. It's so ingrained in my head of Shadowgate. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy.